I know this is another haul video and I'm sorry, but I just have to share. Hey there, it's Coco Gal, and yes, this is another haul video. Um, I, not, I did not plan to go shopping for things that are really cool that I just had to share with you guys, but um, for our four-year anniversary, me and Michael just went spontaneously to Japantown, San Francisco for the Cherry Blossom Festival. So we got some cool stuff. Um, so Michael got me a bunch of stuff because it was our anniversary, and I got myself a bunch of stuff because I have a job now, so that's really neat. Um, but yeah, so they had this whole new area called Sakura 360 at Cherry Blossom Festival, and that's basically the weeb corner. <laughs> um, and I'll link my vlog over here, and there was like anime karaoke, which was cool. Me and Michael both participated in it, so I mean, Michael and I both participated in it, and yeah, you could look at it over here. Um, but the only thing I got from that section was um, from one of my favorite artists, which is Fairy Tale Fox Designs. I love her because he's really cute. I like seeing people's original art, like I like fan art, but I've been really leaning more towards people's original art. And of course, I love jellyfish, so original art plus jellyfish is like, psh, I love it. So I got this, very cute. Um, I wish she had it as like a notebook version and also a zipper pouch version, but because I would have bought everything. And slap this jellyfish on anything, I would have bought all of it. Um, but yeah, again, fairy tale fox designs. I can't wait to get a frame for for my beautiful jellyfish at IKEA. Um, and I like how they're like they're sticking out on the sides, and I think that's very cute detail. Um, yeah, that's the only artist alley thing I really bought. Um, there were a couple of artists there but I see most of them attack anime, so it's not really, it wasn't really a priority to buy from them. And then we went to the bookstore, of course, and I got a heaping pile of trash, Umara-chan. Um, I love Umara-chan, <laughs> even though she's absolute garbage. And this is from Himoto Umara-chan R, which is kind of like the season two. Um, it's so hard to find Umara-chan merch, but I got this folder. They had keychains at the vendor section, but they were like $16, $22. And I'm like, mm, not for a keychain. This is only $8 and I do use folders all the time. So totally worth it in my opinion. Um, then from the bookstore, I also got this shoujo magazine manga thing. And I've been wanting to get one of these from the Kinokuya bookstore for a while. But I just know it's because it's all manga. It's not a lot of context. There's not, you know, I can't. It's not like a fashion magazine where I can look at the pictures and be like, wow, I really like this outfit. I look at this page and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. But that's okay. Because it's cute. It came with some cute items. And the girl on the cover was really cute. And it's more like the art styles look cute. So maybe I will read this manga online legally later. Um, but yeah, it came with a couple items. It didn't come with a nail polish because a nail polish isn't approved by some government facility like the FDA or something. Um, but it did come with a non-makeup makeup looking items, which is this eyeshadow palette looking um, notepad, but it's very thin, so not very impressive. Um, and then it came with this little lipstick pen, which is kind of cute. Like, I mean, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, they're going inside my purse. So it's, it's cute to have in your purse and you like whip them out and be like, I'm ready to take some notes <laughs> for something. My, I don't know, but yeah, cute, 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 cute. And I really like the advertisement in the back. That was the other reason I got it because it's some animal game for Nintendo 3DS and I'm very interested. <laughs> um, and then we went to the makeup store and Michael got me a couple things from there. We got, he got me some face masks because I am trying to do that thing once a week. And then, because I cry a lot, and I even cried on the way to Japantown, um, Michael was like, you should get some stronger makeup. So I got some stronger makeup. I love Kiss Me by Isitan because they have, they really truly have the strongest, most waterproof makeup in the world. And you can, you, just try to prove it wrong. I have, I used to buy their mascara and I went swimming and when I got out of this chlorine filled pool and I was in there for about like an hour and a half, it looked like I just put on my mascara. So I stopped buying it because I could not get it off. Um, look, their, their advertisement, like their, their character is always like this beautiful girl crying because no matter how much you cry, it'll never come off. So I got this black eyeliner because only my bottom eye makeup came off and uh, my Essence black eyeliner isn't really applying very well anymore, and I've only had it for about like two weeks, so 
I think that's worth it. Um, and then I got some lash glue because my lashes also came off, just my bottom lashes. But my top lashes do have the habit of like starting to peel off from the sides because they're so cheap. Um, and apparently in Japan, they have different levels of strength eyelash glue. Here in America, we just have like the brands, like Duo and Adrel and that's it. But this brand, DUP, had like five levels of strength. And this is the strongest one. And this was $13, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Um, because I, I wear cheap lashes, so I should at least have expensive eyelash glue. So yeah, those were the only makeup items I got. And then we went to Ninjia Market. That was our last stop. I forgot to get mochi, which is kind of sad, but I did get chips. I got these cute Calbee vegetable chips. And then this, I don't know what flavor this was, but it has a frog who is a policeman with a holster for his gun. So I had to have it. So cute. And it tasted okay. Not super impressed, but... You know, it has a little frog with a, with a gun. <laughs> um, then what did I say to get? Oh, I got... I forgot not to get these anymore, but I keep getting them because I forget that they're not that great. Where's the wrapper part? Oh, these things. I don't know, like, if the main point is to sell the candy or the charm or, like, this QR code card that comes with it, but it's so pretty and sparkly, so I always forget not to get it because the candy is just like this piece of gum and it's so small. It's just like, you know, like an Orbit Mint like sized gum. And then the thing it comes with isn't even a toy. It's a little charm with these anime girls on it and a QR code in the back. And I don't know what they do. And it comes with this other card that doesn't do anything. And then it comes with this card that I think I'm pretty sure it does something for some kind of arcade machine. So, and I think this is like $4 and I bought it before and I'm very upset. I'm sorry, Michael, you wasted your money because it was just a piece of gum. And then all these things that aren't very interesting. But, um, oh, and then of course we took Pika Pika pictures. So cute, let me show you. You guys can see my, my non-existent bottom eye makeup because I cried it all off in the car. <laughs> but it's cute, look how cute we look. Uh, oh, and I also got this top. It's like a sweater thing and it's got little pom-poms on the end. This like really cute group of Lolita girls like purchased the table um, to sell at and they were selling all their old clothes and old cosplay stuff and it was, and then this was cute. This was like five bucks and it's pretty darn cute. There's like little pockets down here, right? Like I thought it would be like more like a kawaii fashion but I think I could pull off a Gary look with this but right now it's too warm so it's probably not gonna come out ever again until it's winter or fall. Um, but yeah, that's everything I've got. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the vlog because that's much more interesting than this. Um, yeah, hope you guys liked watching it even though I just said it wasn't interesting. Um, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.